What is going on guys, it's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to create text in text and this will give you this result here that you're seeing on the screen right now and it's an awesome effect that you could do in Illustrator with these quick and easy simple steps that I will be providing you guys right now. So this is what we'll be creating right now as you can see in the inside of our text, uh, you can see that it says Photoshop and Illustrator tutorials and the outside text says King for my YouTube channel and then the outside I just added some uh, you know a little deck a background with some texture to give it uh, you know that cool of a effect or f a look and feel to it so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do this right now but before I begin I want to go ahead and give a huge shout out over at audio blocks for making this video possible um, you know they have royalty free soundtracks sound effects and loops that you guys can use they have a huge library of content available for you guys to download you guys can start your seven day free trial the link will be in the description and until then please check them out in the description and I hope you guys enjoy this video let's begin alright so the first thing you want to go ahead and do is you want to go go over to file new uh, to create a new document you could go ahead and give it a name but I'm not going to profile uh, it doesn't matter which one you choose, but just make sure it's on print or web. And I'm gonna go ahead and just choose print for the you know for the sake of the tutorial. The width I'm gonna just I'm just gonna put 1280 by 720. Uh, you could do you know 1920 by 1080 if you prefer. Click OK, and then you will have your uh, your document, your artwork. Now, once you have uh, your uh, your document open, you you want to go ahead and Add a background. So to do to do this, simply go over to the rectangle tool. Uh, that's going to be on the left side of your uh, on the tools palette here. So click and hold, and make sure it's the rectangle tool. So if you have the ellipse tool, click and hold it, and then go to re uh, rectangle tool. Once you go and select the rectangle tool or M on your keyboard, you want to go ahead and double click this right here, and it should be the fill. If yours is on stroke, just click on uh, this white box here. Uh, so it's going to be like this by default. So just double click the white area here and you can go ahead and choose a color. Um, now you don't have to choose, you know, you don't have to double click and go over to the color picker if you don't want. You could go to the swatches right here. So let me go ahead and make this a little bit uh, bigger here. So. so here you can see you have swatches. So you could, you know, select blue and then it will select it here. Or like a, I think it's like a dark indigo blue. Uh, I, like to I like to choose my own color. So I'm going to go back to fill. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to choose a nice, uh, a nice red. Now, once you have selected your color, go to a corner, and it's going to say intersect. Click and hold and drag it to a opposite corner to fill it with red. Now, if you want to, if you don't like the color that you chose, then you could go back to the fill, double click on that, or again go to the swatches and change it. But I like to do this uh, better, and then just click that, and then you will have like a like a red. Uh, so that's that's really cool so I like this red I'm gonna keep it how it is and we don't want a stroke so click on our stroke here and select that to none so now we don't have a stroke just a red fill or whatever color you chose once you've done that we're gonna go ahead and you know start typing our text press T on your keyboard for the shortcut or go to the uh, tools palette and select the type tool or you know press T for the shortcut of course um, and the font that I'm going to be using is called uh, Mullet or Malot, something like that. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce uh, you know, uh, font names. So go ahead and before we you know type, go to the fill, go back to the fill and select white, uh, or just choose another color that isn't the same as our background color. And make sure you lock the background layer and rename it, rename it to BG or background create a new layer and name this uh, outside text and then that way we could keep uh, we can keep the stuff organized okay make sure you're make sure you're on your outside text click and go ahead and change the color once more because it changes it so click OK and once you've clicked OK you can go ahead and type your text so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and type YouTube for the sake of this tutorial now I'm gonna go ahead and make this bigger. So I'm gonna hold, you know, shift and option. And you wanna choose a big, you know, like a thick uh, font. So you could store a lot of text inside of it. So here we have YouTube. I think that looks pretty cool. Okay, that looks good, YouTube here. 
and it doesn't matter what font because we're going to be changing the we're going to be adding text to this okay so once we've done that go ahead and lock the outside text layer create a new layer on top of that and rename that to uh, inside text so we get an idea of what we're working with here so inside text and if you don't have the layers palette simply go to window and then go down to layers and that should be checked if it's enabled go to your inside text layer use the, the uh, type tool here make sure it's not any of these uh, other ones just make sure it's the type tool uh, and then click on the outside like this and then make it bigger than the actual text itself uh, so we could fit all the text inside of it okay uh, now I'm gonna be using font size 12 depending how big your text is or how big you made it so if you made the font um, the font size like like how I have it which is like 200 or 300 then you want something around 10 to 12 uh, if it's anything smaller it's gonna look you can't be you can't really read it so you want it to be readable okay so I'm gonna go ahead and type uh, videos uh, funny uh, let's see make sure you have a space so funny and then once I put funny I'm gonna put um, daily and then uh, I don't know I could put tutorials cool so once you've done that we go ahead and select everything here and then we're gonna make a copy so press command C and then you know go right and press you know V a couple of times and then in the beginning press tab so when you push tab everything will uh, will shift to the right a little bit if not this is what's gonna happen so you know I select everything and I push V you can see that sometimes depending how much font or how much text you put in it's gonna look it's gonna be in a straight line and you don't want that it's gonna look really weird so in this case it actually works but I'm gonna tab it right here and actually I'm gonna tab in the very beginning just so it's not uh, straight okay so now I'm gonna press command V make sure there's a space there and then I'm gonna just keep doing the same thing now once you have enough text press command A and command C then go to the last text here and press space uh, I already think that has a space yeah and then press command V V one more time just to fill everything here make a copy of uh, so go back to the selection tool select your inside text so press command C and then I'm gonna press delete so we're gonna delete it now we're gonna unlock the outside text layer and then select that layer this one here click on YouTube or your text then go to transparency and if you guys don't have the transparency window go to window and go to transparency and next to it there should be a check mark now after that you could go here so click this little down arrow with a couple lines there and then select make opacity line or opacity line opacity mask or you could just click make mask same thing so I'm gonna click make uh, mask make sure you click on the black box here and press command V now because our text is black and the background is opaque select invert mask and that will uh, invert the colors so black white right and make sure your clip is checked and click this right here once you click on that you're gonna see that the text you can kinda read it now now because we made our text a little bit too big we could hardly see the outside text we can kinda read it so to fix this it's very simple click on your outside text layer click on this right here and then we're gonna go ahead and then select everything so click with our type tool press command A and then we're gonna make our font size smaller so see what I mean when you choose the font it's just gonna look like that it's not gonna look interesting so I'm gonna make that smaller so it shifts the text a little bit now you could kinda read it so now to exit out of, it, out of this don't click release that will just release the opacity mask and you're gonna have this so we don't want to do that click this uh, to you know stop the opacity mask click out of it and then you should have your YouTube uh, or your text layer here now if you want to center this perfectly say it's out of you know it's not centered unlock the background and I don't like the red to be honest it's just eh, not feeling it oh I like that red okay <laughs> so select the background uh, and then click your outside text so hold shift to do that so yeah select everything so press command a and then go to window align horizontal center and vertically and that will uh, align it uh, perfectly in the middle and once you've done all of that you can go ahead and move everything towards the middle here so that is perfectly centered now to add our texture just to give it uh, a nice uh, effect uh, I'm gonna go over to file and I'm gonna go ahead and import my um, 
my texture. So just go to place instead of opening it in a new document. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go over to my textures folder. I'm going to add this texture. This is the texture I always use for some reason because it's, it's just a, like a really good texture. I'll post the download link for that in the description. <laughs> what a tongue twister. Okay, cool. So now we have our texture here. And what we're going to do is we're going go, we're gonna go ahead and... Um, <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and make a uh, the same thing. So press Command C and then we're going to delete our texture. Select our background, not our text our background and click make mask make sure you click right here press command V to paste it and you can see that our texture has applied now if your texture because our texture was white and it had black um, you know like spots um, it's gonna work very very well we don't have to invert the mask but if it was the other way around say the background was black and the little spots were white you're gonna have to invert the mask so we can only see the spots which is white, uh, because white is the only thing that's visible here. Um, so everything else is opaque. So we're gonna click back on our on our first image here or the icon to get out of the opacity mask, and then you're pretty much done here. And this is the effect that you're gonna get. So if you guys love this effect and you want to go ahead and share, please share to you know so other people can know how to do this. That will be awesome. You know, you could change up however you want. You could add your own little stuff to this. So that'll be awesome.